had a couple issues with the plans that were available online as far as building a battery spot welder because um, you guys may have seen I have a one wheel project that I'm working on and the batteries that were coming out of the um, hoverboards some of them were broken, some of them were bad, uh, so it ended up being better to build my own cell. Um, so looking at battery spot welders, I see there's a lot of different versions. Some that include using giant capacitors, some that include using a microwave transformer, I have it over there. Uh, some of them involve using a car battery, um, some of them involve using timing circuits, so there's many different ways that people have uh, managed to develop these, these spot welders and um, having tried basically all three major ways, one with the, the car battery, one with the capacitors and one with the, the microwave transformer, I actually found that the best option is a mix of two of them. Um, the two being uh, the microwave transformer spot welder as far as the actual timing circuit that was published. Uh, I will leave a link in this video for you guys to see that wiring diagram and give credit where credit is due. Um, but using that timing circuit and then actually taking that timing circuit and applying it to the car battery design um, with a, a car battery or a car starter solenoid actually as the triggering mechanism um, has worked a lot better than any of the other ones. and. All the parts are easily available. No one really has to go and order any of these special Arduino timing circuits or all these other things. You can um, simply use capacitors and uh, changing out the, the uh, capacitance, the higher the capacitance, the longer that you end up with your trigger uh, relay holding. And so having that ease of design built into this uh, allowed for this mixture to take place and it actually is giving um, beautiful, beautiful spot welds. I don't know if this thing's gonna focus on this, I hope it does, but we get just amazing welds. Um, and I believe I'm only using 122 microfarads worth of capacitance, so it's pretty interesting. Uh, so let me give you a little walkthrough of the wiring of this thing, I'll show you. Uh, so, as we see, this is the standard circuit as published. Um, here is the wiring diagram, uh, to give credit, again, where credit is due. Uh, the only thing that we really changed was this portion of the AC circuit. Uh, instead of having this relay directly power the AC circuit, what we did was have this relay actually trigger another relay um, that is carrying full capacitance or uh, uh, the full load across it from the 12 volts. That way, this contactor, because it is a heavy load contactor, actually needs that full 12 volts being supplied to it. Um, so what I'm doing is taking a standard uh, little RC drone battery. This is a uh, uh, 3S, so we have uh, 12 volts running into this wire. This wire just happens to be screwed down to my, my platform for now. Uh, so we have input power here uh, for the 12 volts coming out of this. Uh, from there, we, we built the, the standard schematic again, this standard schematic. Um, again, credit where credit is due. I will leave a link in the video subscription below. And uh, what we did was built this, this standard schematic up until this point. Uh, once we reached the, that point in the schematic, we actually took the, the leg, this not normally open leg, and we actually used it to break 12 volt DC ground. And so what we did was we used that leg here and it broke 12 volt DC ground. And so when, this re when that relay clicks over because of the capacitance, that brief momentary click, we end up with, hey babe, a uh, power of full 12 volts here. Um, that power is then making this contactor close, and as a result, we end up with full power coming out of the battery into our probes. Um, again, great welds. Uh, I will show you uh, what we get out of this as a result, and uh, let me know what you guys think. It's not if I hooked up power, huh? Blowing, so power is on.
pretty clean welds, very, very strong. And again, only 120 microfarads of capacitance. Um, again, one thing that people uh, are also doing with this is uh, making all these recommendations for certain capacitance, all these other things. Uh, that will change depending upon uh, the cold crank amperage of your battery, the diameter of the wiring for your leads. Um, a, a lot of things go into ensuring the same amount of traveling current, so you will probably need to slightly modify uh, your design a little bit unless you use the exact same wiring, the exact same uh, setup that I did. So don't expect to uh, make a 120, 122 microfarad capacitor um, spot welder and it to be identical to mine um, unless you're using exactly what I have. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Let me know uh, what you guys think, and uh, thanks very much for paying attention.